Carolina. Oh, do you live in Charlotte, but your name is Angela? Right. Okay. You know you're a little perky. You don't care though, I'm assuming. Uh I do. <laughs> I do, but I don't know what to do about it. I I'm guess I'm listening. listening. I'm I'm listening. I'll just make sure you know. All right, okay. Angela, Charlotte, how old are you? Uh, 25. 25. Where are you calling us from? Oh, you told me that, Charlotte. Mm -hmm. What you do for a living? Um, so I do crafts right now, and I'm planning on becoming a florist. You do crafts, and you plan on becoming a florist. Do you have any children? I have one. How old's your child? Uh, she's six. Six. You ever been married? No. No. What's your zodiac sign? Scorpio. Scorpio. So we got Angela, Charlotte, 25 Scorpio. She does crafts, plan on, plans on becoming a florist. One child at six, never married. What kind of man are you looking for, Angela? Um, basically a manly man. So somebody who's like super masculine. Um, I guess you would say like an alpha man, but a lot of people tie alpha man in with like um, their money, so I wouldn't really use that term, but just somebody very masculine, somebody that has, you know, um, space for me in their life, you know, as far as like communication and things like that goes, and just a, a nice nurture, not nurturing, but just a nice genuine man, really. A nice genuine man. What are your deal breakers? Yeah. Huh. So let's stop her for a minute. She coming up here. She got the natural hair. I know Mr. Walker going to give her a thumbs up, but then she got the tattoo. And she got the broad shoulders, so it ain't working yeah. after that. Yeah, it, it ain't. Let's look at this sister, man. Sisters like this, if you asking me, they allow their inability to push away from the table, just take away any chance they got. This woman could be a whole deal in her in her healthiest natural form. She could be a whole deal. Now she got her hair, you know. She, <laughs> But yeah, she got a lot of fluff and girth all up and through her shoulder area. Big back, you know, back, big backism is definitely in the room. It's unfortunate. All them tattoos. See, just willy nilly tattoos all up her upper body. She trying to act like she feminine. She says she's looking for masculine, dominant, alpha, uh, raw meat eating ass man. <laughs> and that's fine. You got to be able to match that energy with your femininity. But guess what? 25 with a six-year-old. And now all that talk for nothing. Get this call. As we always say, nug nug, get the fresher squeeze. You know, you're 25. You should be childless, still fit, ready to be a wife. But you, you use goods at absolute best, still looking for the top guy. Trouble's ahead. <laughs> and shout out to squeegee come through he says where's theo coop motorboat he says salute good bread there you go theo coop huh shit yeah. motorboat there we go um thugs i don't like hood niggas so <laughs> no guys um somebody that's uh nonchalant um i don't like that at all so and that's really it honestly Okay. Um, should he look a certain way? No, I think all black men are handsome, so not really. You said all black men are <laughs> handsome. Um, what about money? Should he make a certain amount of money? No. You don't care about that? Okay. Let's do the Kendra cam. That's when you stand up and we see your full body. Okay. I'm so shy. <laughs> okay. Okay. I will see you, Mama. Huh? I got beans and bologna. Yeah. You can see, you see, she in the hood in the apartments. This Ooh. is Nug Nug Catnip recreational use. Don Jeter called it. Don Jeter said that they go duplex is old as f. That's one of my old duplex. Don Jeter, let me find out you a slum lord. <laughs> but listen, <laughs> y'all want to say she blow that all y'all want. I guarantee you this sister ain't getting no kind of pushback when she out there in the streets where the work is real. Nug Nug looking at her and all, all she sees is drool coming out that ninja's nasty, funky, tartar, red mouth. She ain't, ain't nobody telling her she blowed out. She thick. She voluptuous. They trying to drink 
her bath water <laughs> out them old cast iron tubs in them apartments. Yeah, it, it's raw in there. That brown and that beige. Yeah, look like somebody OD'd on heroin back in the day in that mother sucker. <laughs> mm -hmm. And Divine Photos, he says, these women got to stop saying they want a masculine man. When in reality, the masculine masculine man comes, comes they have issue with the man being a man. I, I agree 100%. She do seem a little so softer than most of the contestants. I will give her that. She's yeah, she fluffy. She fluffed up, but like I said, winter time. Tell the truth, shaking the devil, y'all. Winter time. This is a hobosexual nug nugs dream. He like if I could just get on up in there and up under her for this winter. Did that happy man? Oh my goodness! <laughs> is that a fluorescent light in the kitchen? Yeah, this is rough, huh? This department's the Linoleum, Linoleum. I can't even say it. Linoleum yeah. floors yeah. and linoleum. Uh, <laughs> Look at that refrigerator. Fruit. That's that old that white boy. That's the white refrigerator is depressing anymore. If you got one oh. in your house, it's unfortunate. And yeah, real rap. <laughs> and that them fruit loops or fruitios. What's the generic brand? Oh, look at that stove. Woo, you know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> that thing still got an analog clock on it, man. Shoot, the ones with the analog clock still work. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and it is. It's reality. I'm soaking this in. That's the part. Come on, sis. There we go. She's 25 <laughs> with a kid. <laughs> We're going to let her cook. This is bro. <laughs> okay. All right. We'll see you, mama. All right. Okay. Angela, what's the age range you would date? You're 25. Um, age range, I would say 30, 30 to like um, 30 to 35. All right, 30, I'll say 30 to 38. 30 to 38. All right, 30 to 38. Um, when was your last relationship? About two years ago. Two years ago. You don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? A month ago. A month ago. Yeah, nasty. Is that guy an option? No. I recently just cut him off because like, I seen that it wasn't going anywhere. So um, I just let that go. So yeah, that was just really somebody that was my friend for a long time. And, you know, just somebody I was just, you know, keeping around. So, but I let that go. So. No, he's not an option. That's, that's a wrap. Right. Oh, my God. No bread, no water, just <laughs> meat. A month ago. See? we Every time we give them credit, we say, oh, sweet and kind. They always get in a meats clash. <laughs> always. Did you hear it? She dang near said his name. Who did she just describe? We warned the brothers about this dude that just clashed her meats a month ago. Did you hear the confession? She said, Kendra, it ain't like that. He was just a friend. He has always been there in the background, orbiting nonstop, just waiting on the moment. And that moment was a month ago, Kendra. He clapped my cheeks brazy with animosity. You shouldn't have seen them. And, and here I am today. You know, and, and now see my car relationship is weird all of a sudden. I love it. The beta male orbiter strikes again. And he up. <laughs> and now she up here. Because you didn't got addicted to penis juice. And now truth knocking you smooth across your damn forehead. <laughs> Yo, this, I wish I had the details of this, this meet and greet they had. Because I it was premeditated and awkward as all get out. <laughs> and shout out to the pink pill. How you feeling tonight, sister? She says, because y'all deserve it, and I learned a lot here. Appreciate your pink pill. Thank you, sister. So here we go. I'm gonna take this back a second. We gotta hear that again. Ran for a long time, and you know, just somebody someone like a month ago. A month ago. Yeah. Is that guy your option? No, I recently just cut him off because like I seen that it wasn't going anywhere. So um, I just let that go. So yeah, that was just really somebody that was my friend for a long time. And, you know, 
just so like I was just you know keeping around. So, but I let that go. So, no, he's not an option. That's that's a wrap. Right. I wasn't an option for him, so I figured why would he be an option for me? You know. So he didn't want anything serious with you. Right. Okay. Um, three flaws you have to work on. They said they love your natural hair. Oh, thank you. Somebody else in the comments said that my attire is only going to attract good niggas. But <laughs> you, you agree? Well, uh, I don't know. I mean, this is what I will say. I mean, what type of man are you looking for? Are you looking for a corporate man? No. Not this. No, no. I do say this. You, whether we like it or not, we're always judged by our appearance, right? <laughs> so, um, at times I hear men who don't want women with tattoos. Mm -hmm. right. You know, that's subjective. Some men don't mind it, but a lot of blue collar corporate men don't normally like tattoos. Mm -hmm. um, I did mention that you were perky in the beginning just to kind of make you aware whether you knew it or not. So, I mean, you can't help but to notice, right? So I think whether we, whether, whether it be right or wrong, you have to understand that you will be judged by attire. Right. So um, as simple as that. But let's continue. Three flaws you have to work on. Uh-huh. And they will be right. Only nug nug. We've been saying it the whole interview. They will be correct, Mr. Walker. Yeah, it's, it's unfortunate. But this sister is, she's a goofier sister. She is. She just, just her demeanor she that's not sweet there we go so she is just kind of like she got some confidence with her with her social awkwardness and she's a little nerdy she ain't nerdy excuse my language god damn ain't nothing nerdy about her she a little sweet freak <laughs> i don't know how to say that's how wild she's a sweet freak all right she ain't really ratchet or raunchy she ratchet she's not raunchy so, you know, she like the sister off of uh, Don't Be a Menace in the Hood, you know. She's like, I can get a little crazy. That's her. She's really a 304. She just come across a little timid, but it's not real because she'll hunt you. <laughs> and Racha says she knew what she was doing when she put that on. Bait. Yeah. We'll drop her to half off, Shawty, too. Womp womp. Uh, I'll say my clinginess. I'm super clingy. Like, I think I have like attachment issues. <laughs> so I'm very clingy. And that can be good or bad, depending on what the person, you know, himself wants. So I can be very clingy. Um, what else? Uh, I know I'm supposed to have three deal breakers. So that should be so easy to come up with. But what else? Um, I can be more um, like consistent with my personal life, like my goals and aspirations, because I know a lot of men that have something going for themselves, they also want a woman to have that for her life as well. So I can do better in that aspect as far as, you know, like my career goals and things of that nature. Um, third one, um, I would say just being more understanding because, well, not really. I think I'm good with that. What's another one? <laughs> um, being more social because I can't have like, you know, a little social anxiety and, you know, um, I'm not really family oriented by any means. And I want a man that, you know, can have a family that maybe I can join. So maybe my social anxiety to maybe, you know, prevent that or things of that nature. So, yeah, that's really it, honestly. I can't think of any. I mean, I can't think of other things, but that's what I came up with so far. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. Fair enough. Now, should... Why would a guy be lucky to be with you, Angela? Well, I'm very nurturing. I'm a lover. Like, I'm a lover's girl, and I'm very loyal. Um, I'm a one, I'm a one man's woman, so yeah. And I don't seek attention from any other man. Like, once I like you, like, I love you. Like, I'm very clingy, so <laughs> that's really it. I'm very loyal. Um, I'm very honest, and yeah, I have a lot of love to give, so that's it. She has a lot of love to give. She you got too much love to give, and you end up with a baby. Papa Molly, I'm sweating. Woo! Pop the baby up in me, you feel me? <laughs> we'll say she got that one six-year-old, and regardless of her hunching, she ain't had one since. So, it's... <laughs> Jesus. How long we sit in the bar? She only 25. It's low. It's down there in the mud, but sheesh. I mean, it's that's where it's at. Huh? 
she 20 she could be up here three for the three at 25 what y'all what we talking about that ain't nothing unusual look at this this silly sweet freak it wouldn't be nothing for her to be five for for whatever three for five five for five whatever numbers you want to combine she could be that by this time but she only got one yes this is the used car lot this is the sexual marketplace used car lot this is good as it gets all right gently used one owner huh 25 not that old hmm? any takers <laughs> i hear you i hear you logically but man the bar so low it ain't i mean this is laughable yeah oh you get natural hair listen I, i'll be a used car salesman what do you get out of this package it's used up yeah but you get you get natural hair huh you get a nice beautiful skin tone nice color you know premium color and they sit Big up here like and she said i just want to love i'm so clingy and all that is true is y'all give the love to the wrong man Y'all give it to Nug Nug. Nug Nug, he just want to hunt your papa baby in you. Y'all think it's love. That's all you seen your mama doing is hunching. It's a it's huh, it's a cycle. He, and that she hinted towards that, Mr. X. She said, I don't, I'm not family oriented. She said, I don't have a family structure. So it is very safe to say, with that lightweight confession, that she comes from a broken home. And and there's there's always dots to connect. As to how these sisters wind up in these situations. And then here's another broken home sister. And her tattoos tell a tale. The one contestant said it. She said her tattoos to some degree reflects the hardships and pain she went through. Here we are. <laughs> Shout out to Too Tall. How you feeling tonight? Says no. Dismissed. Dismissed. Out of there, too tall. Appreciate you. <laughs> so I think we sent her to Glaze Galaxy. Wow. There you go. Big, big sweet freak. <laughs> go and get glazed. <laughs> we got us the gun line. Tell them about the gun line, boss. We may not know which way to go. Oh, no. I see this shit is going to be dangerous. Some dark winged duck shit. Let's get it. Dangerous. I play the fool for the fool. Everybody plays the fool sometimes. And no exception to the rule. Listen, baby. I play the fool for a fool. Oh, sister. Yeah. This, that sister, she, she need to be careful. Like I said, she in the hood. And you can't be that soft and feminine acting around nug nug because he just gonna come clash on you all wild and wonky like she said she had her friend that she desired so yeah maybe he wasn't a beta male orbiter he was just some old uh hound dog playing the lone con and now she now she on his on his roster she don't even know it then there's that a month ago he'll be calling her back and she'll oblige <laughs> 